Hey guys, in this lesson, we are going to learn some of the strategy hacks in order to do well in the entrance examinations that you are going to come across in the, in the near future. And these are some of the efficient ways in which you must approach every topic that you come across in the course on ray optics and optical instruments, which is a very essential chapter for you to master in order to do well in your entrance examinations. Now, this course is basically aimed and designed for NEAT slash AIMS aspirants, but the conceptual lessons in this course can be accessed by anyone who is appearing either just for the board exams or appearing for en engineering entrances or any other science-related related entrances in the near future. This course and this lesson has been designed and taught by me, Samip Velani, and if you'd like my work and appreciate it in any way possible, please follow me, rate my work, give reviews and comments for individual videos if you have any. And please express your pleasure by going through this link. And if you follow me, you'll be notified about the future courses that come from my side on the Unicademy platform. Express your pleasure because otherwise I will never know what you really want from me in order to make my courses better and more comprehensive. Be enthusiastic about it. Show your enthusiasm by giving good reviews or bad reviews if you have any because your enthusiasm is contagious for me to do better. I have to be as enthusiastic with you as possible because if I'm not interested in teaching you, you won't be interested in learning anything from, my, from me. So my enthusiasm counts for a lot if your life has to be changed for the better. Now, these are a list of books I want you to refer. All of these are not essential to buy or acquire. Some of these are very important, which I recommend you to buy, but you must have the NCRT textbook, which I, which I hope that every one of you have for the theory part. And if you... And if you'd like a crisp definition-based treatment of the theory, I recommend you to go through Concepts of Physics by H.C. Verma, which is a very sought-after book for, prop, for its problems, as the, the problems given in the book give you a very good grasp over the concepts of physics, as the title suggests. This book is not meant to go very deep into the theory part, but if you do want to go deeper into theory, I recommend you to go through some of the foreign authored books which are based on advanced physics but the same topics and same chapters are covered in these books which are there in your NCRT textbook. The first one which I would like to recommend you to is Conceptual Physics by Paul Hewitt. It's kind of a newcomer in the market and it's, it's, it has a large number of examples and applications and several real world ex examples of how you can apply your concepts pretty well and try to get a good understanding of how you can even apply your concepts to newer fields where they haven't been applied to so far. There is one evergreen standard textbook that you must have if you want to go deeper and get a good feeling for and get a good uh, outcome get a good result in your entrances, which is the principles of physics by Resnick, Halliday and Walker. It was earlier called fundamentals of physics, but now it has been changed to principles of physics, which comes up with new editions every one or two years. So get the latest one if you can. There are other books like University Physics by Pearson Publishers, written by Young and Friedman, and Physics for Engineers and Scientists by Survey Jewett, which is another application-based book which gives you a good feeling of how you can apply your concepts to applications which are there and which could be there in the future. Now for the problem solving, which is a very, very, very crucial part for your entrances, I recommend you to go through any one of these books. But if you have very little time for, to prepare well, I recommend you to go through these 30 years Neat aimed AIPMT chapter wise solutions of physics by MTG publishers. But if you have sufficient time on your hands, which I expect you 
to have and I expect you to have planned it in such a way that you have a lot of time on your hands to master physics. These are the other books that you must go through. Any one of these is fine. Complete Guide of Physics by MTG. Objective Physics, there are two volumes by DC Pandey by Arihan Publishers. There's one which has a very concise view of every topic in the NCRT textbook, which is Objective NCRT at your fingertips by MTG Publishers. And one complete version of everything that you might need for the theory, for problems, for formulae sheets and everything is there in the Physics Champion book by MTG Publishers. Some of the learning strategies which I would like to recommend you to have in the course studying ray optics and optical instruments, I really want you to master the essential topics on the, on the more basic level, you must, you must know everything about reflection and refraction at spherical and flat surfaces. You must have a very good grasp on the derivations and the formulae and how the formulae have really come, come up from the theory ba based on these phenomena. I want you to be able to derive every formula that has been posed to you either in your formula sheets or equation sheets or in your cheat sheets for entrance examinations. And on a more advanced scale, I want you to master what it really means about the total internal reflection, the concept of dispersion, and the theory of lenses, which is very important and necessary to master if you want to go further into the field of Instrument, instrumentation in biology and one of the most important applications for biologists is of course the microscope which is one of the instruments that we are going to learn about in this course and I also want you to think about how the dots are connected how the microscope is closely connected with other instruments which, are, which we are going to learn about go with the topic flow of the NCRT text do not jump topics if, that is the, if this is the first time you're approaching all the topics. If you're approaching all the top, every chapter again for the second, third or multiple times, at that time it, it is all up to you how you want to approach every topic. But otherwise, if this is your first time, please don't jump any topics here and there. Go according to the topic flow of NCRT text. Spend some time brainstorming about the concepts and then proceed to solving the problems but do solve the problems because that is important start with the easy ones and switch to the difficult ones once you are conversant with all the concepts and formulae because the easy ones will just be such that you are expected to define what the formulae is and then just apply the formula knowing some of the quantities and trying to find the unknowns. So that's the simple part. But the difficult part is when you'll have to design and model the problem in an efficient and desirable manner. Do not be in a hurry. Success comes at its own pace. So enjoy the journey, which is important. Thank you for listening. Kindly brainstorm about what you have learned so far for a few minutes. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. Thank you.